Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, and thanks for stopping by. If you enjoy commentary without all the fluff, join our family by subscribing. It is with a heavy heart that I report that gospel singer Dyrenees Pace has transitioned. For those who aren't familiar with her, she was also a member of the Anointed Pace Sisters who are a well-known gospel singing group. To jog your memory, Here's the video which became a viral sensation where she was expressing her gratitude through song for spending time with her family during Thanksgiving. She was also on the Steve Harvey show as a guest where she did her rendition, which brought him to tears, where she made the statement that now that she has made it on his show, that she is glad and that she can go to heaven now. Here she is sharing her talent with his audience and the world for that matter. <laughs> I can go to heaven now. I can go to heaven. I don't take much for me. This is the Harvey. He's a good man. He loves the Lord. Yeah. And he'll give you a heavy hand. Yeah. Can somebody say, yeah, yeah. God gonna bless the Harvey. He she was one of nine siblings, and they all sang in their father's church which she shared during an interview with Voyage Magazine in Atlanta last year of March. She stated that she began singing at the age of five and her inspiration was her father. Her father, by the way, was a professional quartet singer. Like most religious gospel households, her mother would sing during praise and worship and her father, having a group, would hold rehearsal on Wednesdays in their living room and she and her siblings would look in on rehearsals. The first album for the Anointed Pace Sisters was released in 1992, and they would go on to release another six albums. She also toured with preachers in several countries spreading the gospel and being a voice that would raise anyone's spirits. As for her cause of death, it is reported that she was hospitalized on January 5th, and then the announcement was made on the 14th that she had succumbed to the complications associated with her ongoing battle with thyroid cancer. She is quoted as saying that she's inspired because she loves people and it makes her happy to see people smile. She continued to say, this is why she calls her business a healing ministry because people ask her to help heal them and make them feel better. She said that she knew it was not coming from her, but from God, and she is so thankful that she can help touch people's hearts. And that's exactly what she did, and she will be missed. She was a phenomenal woman, and she most definitely left an indelible mark in the gospel industry and the world, for that matter. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe, like, and share. Also, hit your notification bell so you will know when I upload. And stay tuned for more. And I will catch you in the next one. Stay blessed.